Then when a little more I raised my brow, I spied the master of the sapient throng seated amid the philosophic train. Him all admire, all pay him reverence to. There Socrates and Plato both I marked, nearest to him in rank Democritus, who sets the world of chance. Diogenes with Heraclitus, and Empedocles, and Anaxagoras, and Thales sage. Orpheus I marked, and Linus, Tully, and moral Seneca. Euclid and Ptolemy, Hippocrates, Galenus, Aviken, Zeno and Dioscorides well read in nature's secret law. And sagen sollst du sollst entsagen. What's it mean? Thou shalt give up. Entsagen sollst du. It means to renounce everything. Yourself, your life. Are you ready for it? I feel I am something of a novice upon this platform. Born of a race whose inheritance has been outrage and wrong, most of my life had been spent in battling those wrongs. But I did not feel as keenly as others that I had these rights in common with other women. Ladies, no movement, please. When we recited her Latin and Greek to him, he said, very smart girls, unusually capable, but can you cook? <laughs> I answered with the utmost patience. Well, Mr. Quincy, we want to go to Harvard College with our brothers. No, my dear, said he, that is not possible. At that, I burst out. Then I wish I were God that I might kill every woman from Eve down and let you have a masculine world all to yourselves and see how you like that. <laughs> What if I were to ask you to give up? Your parents, everything. Oh, how can I ask you? I must give up. Perhaps you like me too much. Of course I like you too much. When I like, I like too much. Love that was more. 